my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So today's video is super exciting. I'm going to be showing you my Christmas home tour. So I'm going to walk you through the house and show you all the decorations I've put up. Honestly it's like my living room has turned into Santa's grotto. So if you like that sort of warm traditional red, green and gold sort of vibe then you will love this video and I hope you get loads of inspiration from it for your own decorations so if you do enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming festive videos in December so without talking too much I'm just gonna get straight on in with the Christmas home tour okay so starting off at the front door this is the first thing you see so this is the sort of unit that we keep our hats gloves and shoes in and then this is the sort of Christmas design I came up with so if you watch my Christmas decorate with me you will see that I had a few different options with this table I moved things around a couple of times and this is the final result after buying that new train as well from the charity shop so I'm just going to take you through this little section one by one just to show you everything so as always on the side here I have my Singer sewing machine that was restored and then I also have that little <laughs> Murphy style ornament that I got from a charity shop. So on the little log here to go with the sort of log windowsill I have I placed this little sign that says there's no place like home at Christmas. I just love that. I feel like it really goes with the sort of like wooden loggy vibe here. Then hanging on the window I have this little wreath that says Merry Christmas and has these little cute snowman in it. I feel like this little area in the hallway is a very snowman heavy corner. Then moving over I have this little reindeer which if you watched my Christmas clean with clean and decorate with me you'll see that Murphy absolutely detests him because he sings and dances. <laughs> so we will just leave him him up there now until the end of Christmas there's no more dancing for him we give him one run at the start of Christmas the start of December and then he's out he's retired he just has to sit there until January when he goes back in the loft <laughs> the next thing I have is this little train so this was from a charity shop I love it it's got all sorts of like little bears and dogs and Santa Claus coming out of and this was only five pound from a charity shop but that is going to last forever it's that sort of traditional Christmas thing that you bring out year after year the next thing I have so I've obviously got some little candle things as well I leave them out in the year as well they're not just for Christmas the next thing I have is this little <laughs> snowman with his broken hat and honestly that hat has been broken for about two years and I keep saying to myself I'm gonna fix it but I just never get around to it and well it's not that I get around to it I think I'm just attached to it being like that <laughs> there's something about Christmas decorations looking a bit old and broken that I just really love I can't explain it um he does light up as well where do I turn him on oh at the back there so let me turn him on and see if he's got batteries in actually Okay, so he doesn't have batteries in. So he's broken and he's got no batteries, so <laughs> I feel sorry for him. But he's happy there. He looks happy enough. Then above here, I don't really have many Christmas decorations, so I've just moved everything that was originally on this table up into these shelves. And I've just added this little pine cone that's got a little bit of snow on it. This is actually an autumn decoration, but I've just left it there. Yeah, that will do for this little... Oh, no, you just tripped over my wellies. <laughs> for this little area for now. Then next to the unit, I have Mr. John Snow who Murphy hates at the start of, uh, by the way, if you don't watch my channel and wondering who on earth this Murphy character is, he is my dog that I will show you in a minute. So this is Jon Snow and he always sits at the front of our house on Christmas. I feel like he's very happy and welcoming. So that is the first thing you see as you enter 
my little Christmas grotto. <laughs> okay, and then coming in from the hallway, this is my living room. So my living room always throughout the year is super, super cozy, but it is seriously, let me just give you a little shot of the tree. It is seriously enhanced around this time of year. I love my house at Christmas time. I feel like it is just the most cottagey, warm, welcoming place in the history of the earth. Okay, so starting out on my coffee table, so I don't have any Christmas cushions or anything on the big sofa. So we just have on this coffee table, this little sweetie dish that I keep some celebrations in. At the moment it's empty because I've eaten them all. Oh, I seem to, oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I actually doing? Why has it gone like that? Oh, there we go. I feel like I go really clumsy whenever I'm filming. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, so I have that sweetie dish that nearly broke, but we're still mm -hmm. here and still alive, which is great. And then I have this little um, snow globe, this little Santa snow globe. I can't remember where I got him, but I've had him for a while. So we just keep him on there. And then scrolling up over to the TV unit area. Let me come round and show you. Please ignore that basket that is full of Murphy's toys. I don't want it to be too close to the Christmas tree, just in case he has a look at a little ball ball and it's next to his toys and he thinks it might be one of his toys. So I thought I'll move that to save any confusion. So then this is how it looks underneath my TV. So first of all, I have these two stockings that I got from Home Bargains years ago. So this one has got a little Rudolph on it. And then this one has got a snowman on it. Then I got these star snowflakes, even starflakes, snowflakes um, that hold the stocking in place. They're just like a weight. Um, then I have this table runner that I've had for a couple of years years and I feel like that just adds to it so much and makes it look so much more warm. I have these two pictures of me and Paul on either side and they just stay up throughout the year as well. Then I have this little candle stand, I have this little candle holder that's got a star in and then this little candle that's got a snow. Uh, I nearly said a snowman in, what is wrong with me? A tree in, a Christmas tree in. <laughs> and then these fairy lights just add to it as well, but they as well stay up throughout the year. And then I just have this sort of Christmassy, um, you know, on YouTube you can get those ambience videos. So this is a Christmas ambience video with a fireplace, crackling sounds and some carols. Now onto my windowsill. So on my windowsill, I just have this sort of um string with all different Christmassy things so we've got some berries some pine cones uh snowflake and I just lay that across there and then I normally keep different fake flowers in this part but I replace them with these sort of frosted roses I'm not sure what that is but just a load of different um frosted things and I've just spied a neighbour looking at me talking to myself with a camera and now I feel very silly anyway <laughs> continuing on <laughs> So they are my frosted flowers. And then I have this little frosted house that lights up that you will have seen in my recent charity shop haul with Santa holding onto the chimney saying, yay, I'm bringing you your presents. <laughs> so that is the little display I have on my windowsill. Now moving around, I think it's time to get to the big event. Looks who, who's joined us for the big event. He was lying on his bed and then he wants to come join us, don't you? I should have put his, he's got a gorgeous little jumper that says little pudding on. So I should have put that on for this video, but we'll leave him fresh since he's just had a groom. So moving around, I have my log burner here, which I'm just keeping two Christmassy candles on. This one was from Home Sense, I think either last year or the year before. Um, and it just says winter chill. And I don't like that much just because I really love the pot. Then for this one, this was from Home Bargains. You will have seen it in my recent Home Bargains haul. Then next to the tree, I have this, uh, I suppose it's a wreath in a heart and it's got loads of pine cones and all sorts it's sort of frosted and glittery but it doesn't pick up too much on the camera oh yeah I suppose it does there 
um, but I love that so much. So I tend sometimes just to keep that up a little bit in January because it's not too Christmassy and it's one of those things you can just hold on to for a little bit longer just because it looks so lovely next to the log burner. And now we really are moving on to the main event and that is my Christmas tree. So I do go for very, I don't know, eclectic, busy, traditional. Um, I don't try and do anything too fancy. This is what I've done pretty much forever ever since I moved out and had control of my own tree. So this tree I think we bought from home base a couple of years ago, maybe about five years ago. And I think it was about 25 pound and only this year when we put it up it's a good job I didn't film a Christmas tree decorating video because I was going to and then I decided I wanted the quality time doing it with Paul privately without a camera and it's a good job I decided that because the base of it actually snapped so it's made out of plastic so as you can see in there it's got loads of sellotape sort of holding it together and then underneath that tree skirt there is hiding a load of weights so we've put like a load of weights and then wedged it with this um sofa just so it won't fall down but it does the trick and that's the good thing about having a tree skirt as well is it hides all of that nastiness under there and then obviously we'll get loads of presents around there as well before christmas so i go for very eclectic i like tinsel i know a lot of people are very opinionated about tinsel i'm a tinsel gal I think it's cheap and it fills in the gaps of the Christmas tree very nicely but I'm just going to take you through some of my favourite baubles since I do collect them year, each year and I like to go for all different things so first of all oh hello it's me in the mirror <laughs> I'll go to the side so you can see so first of all we've got this H and a P which stands for Hattie and Paul which is me and my now husband and then on the topic of my now husband, I then have this plaque that says Mr. and Mrs. our second name, which I am going to blur out, and then our first married Christmas. So I got that online um, from like a Christmas um, design your own personalised place. The next thing I have is this Merry and Bright bauble. I have this, another Santa little snow globe type one. Then I have this little bird sitting on a frosty bauble another one i love is this sort of pearly gold one i feel like that's a very feminine bauble which i love i then have this little dog this little tartan dog and then over that we have this love i think i bought those two together from home bargains a couple of years ago i then have this frosted christmas house thing um down here uh, paul actually put this one on i don't know why he's put him so low down because we can't see him but we have this really cute little dash hound then this one this is like like nice little beige one looks like a little homemade decoration that and then I have this pink one as well. I don't go for many pink baubles just because it does clash with the red, but I just love that one. It reminds me of Frozen for some reason. Oh, and I've just knocked one off. Uh-oh, Lazio, where have you gone, bauble? Okay, so that is pretty much all of our Christmas baubles for this year. Oh, I forgot to show you my H as well. I love that H. And then I bought this Paul um, one from a charity shop recently. So that is how our Christmas tree is looking. I absolutely love it. I think it just looks so warm and inviting. Okay, so now coming out of the living room and along the hallway, I have actually, I'm going to turn the light on in here so you can see a little bit better. But I have this Welsh dresser, which each sort of season, I try and change up a little bit. I move things around regularly and give it a dust. But my general vibe is always going to be cottagey teapots, eclectic. <laughs> it doesn't matter what sort of season it is. That will always be the running theme. So the only thing I have added that is Christmassy here, we have have this little polar bear which he has actually sat here the whole time he's just been hidden in this little um tray so i've pulled him out just because i think he wants a bit of a wander around christmas time <laughs> 
The next thing I have is this wreath that I have put this candle in the middle of. That was also from Home Bargains. It's just really lovely, sparkly, um, silver sort of design. And that's sort of it for this area. That's all I've added. But I feel like that is all it needs. It looks more Christmassy than it did. And any more, I think, would just look a little bit too much. So I'm really happy with how that looks. And now we are going to go on into the kitchen. Okay, so now coming into the kitchen please excuse it is not looking the most clean I've got dishes in the sink and other dishes waiting to be put away but I just want to take you through the decorations in here I've kept it quite minimal and um, just because I like my kitchen to be easily like wiped downable at the moment that's the sort of style I'm into is actually it's not a style it's just ease <laughs> the style I'm into is convenience <laughs> So I'm just going to take you through a couple of the bits and bobs I've got in here. So first of all, I have to draw your attention to these advent calendars, which we get every single year from Paul's parents. And I absolutely love getting them. It makes me feel young at heart again. So I've had number one today. Today's the 1st of December when I'm filming this. And then Paul is at work today, so he hasn't yet opened his number one. So yes. I'm very excited about these two. The next Christmassy thing I have in here is these Christmas boxes. So in this top one, there's not anything in there yet, but I do like to keep mince pies and different snacks. And then in this big one is my Christmas cake. So at the moment it's all wrapped in cellophane and then I just keep adding loads of brandy into it. So if you found it really funny, my love of brandy in Christmas cakes and how much I put in, but what can I say? It makes them taste so much better. So then wheeling around, I don't think there's anything else Christmassy over there. Nope. So on top of Murphy's bed, all I've added. So you will have seen the Christmas clean decorate with me. I added a lot more here and then I took it away and just thought, no, do you know what? This little family of snowmen will do in this corner. I just love them. I think I named them in my last video, something like Sheila and John and I don't know I think the little one was Ted or something I'm not sure <laughs> just because they look like such a wholesome little family so that is Murphy's bed and then a picture of him that he's actually wearing his little pudding jumper that I mentioned in that picture then on the shelves here I just have my usual teapots and things I have nothing Christmassy here but I still wanted to show you it just because I love the way it looks in my kitchen and then moving across here I have this hanging little mistletoe with a bell I can't say we kiss every time we go under it but it does look very nice <laughs> And then coming across here, this is my little tea making station. And this is a milk frother that I actually bought for lattes, but I've been making so many hot chocolates and also Horlicks in it as well. So this is, I've been leaving the Horlicks out. So if you don't know, Horlicks is like a malt drink that you can get in the UK and it's full, like, let me show you, like seriously full of vitamins. So I try to drink one of these a day just because I'm very conscious in these colder, darker ones. I'm not getting as much vitamin D. I'm not eating as well. I'm eating a lot of rubbish and less of the good stuff. So I try and supplement where I can. And then some little marshmallows here that I like to add into my lattes and hot chocolates. Then I just had to have this little Santa mug out. I have to confess he's actually not clean because I've just had a Horlicks in him. <laughs> and then on here, I just have this little Christmas mug as well. And the rest are just normal. So that is all of the Christmassy stuff in here. This side is just kept normal. So now, come on Murph, should we go into the bedroom? Should we show them the bedroom? Let's go. He's like, where are we going? <laughs> Bless him. Okay, so now this is the bedroom. Again, I haven't added much here. So for me, I feel like Christmas throws up in my living room and then everywhere else is just a little, little bit here and there. So in here, we just have this Christmas sign next to the bed. And then coming across, I will just quickly show you my Christmas book that I'm reading at the moment. Let me just move my sleep mask. So I'm reading this, which I bought from a charity shop for a pound. I'm a little bit into it. I've not been as good with my reading recently, um, but it's good so far. So I'm going to keep reading that. I count that as a decoration <laughs> because it's so Christmassy. I'll stand it up like that. 
and it can count. And then that is everything Christmassy in this room. I know, sorry, that was really boring. And then in this little corner, I just have my bathroom and my spare room, which is under some renovations. So we don't have any decorations in there. Okay, so that marks the end of my Christmas home tour. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's given you all the warm, cozy, cottagey feelings that I want to give across on my channel. I'm super happy with how everything turned out this year. Again, I've mentioned in my Christmas decoration video where I was physically doing the decorating that I try and use the same decorations year in, year out. That's the style I like. The very traditional things have got a little bit old, things have got a story to them. So I don't like to replace everything every year. So I am going to be doing one of these every year, but it will be pretty much the same but just in slightly different ways so if you do want to see this again next year then let me know and I'll just have to get creative in how I change it up for you year in year out so for now I hope you enjoy my first proper Christmas home tour I'm so excited for Christmas this year I started feeling festive very very early this year and I hope you all have a really lovely time I am going to be doing loads more festive videos on my channel throughout December so make sure you are subscribed for that and I will see you in my next one